The Final Fantasy series is possibly the most respected and revered series in all of video gaming history. It defined the console role-playing game, the format of which has been used by hundreds of other franchises over many generations of technology. It rode the cutting edge of graphic development from its conception in 1987 through today. One game among them stood above the rest as the crowning achievement of the series, and that was Final Fantasy VII. An incredible mixture of memorable characters, thrilling and engrossing plot, entertaining gameplay, and an emotionally compelling soundtrack merged to create a masterpiece of console entertainment that was difficult to ignore. It sold half a million copies in the first three weeks, eventually surging to 10 million copies to date, making it the best-selling game in the series. Aside from its raw numerical success, the fan base garnered by Final Fantasy VII is both astonishing and unique. Fans latched on to the characters in a way that until this point was reserved only for movie stars. Fan novels, fan art, fan remixes of the music, People loved the game so much that they began to want to spend their free time and talent on coaxing more from the already large cornucopia of entertainment that is Final Fantasy VII. We are some of those fans. Drawn together by inspiration, nostalgia, and a passionate desire to pay tribute to the legend of the game, we are here to bring you Final Fantasy VII, the web series, season one. In mid-2012, a pair of Italian film and game enthusiasts pooled their efforts, and about $30,000, to make a concept trailer for what they hoped would become Final Fantasy VII represented in an entirely new medium, a live-action movie. That trailer garnered nearly half a million views on YouTube and pulled over 13,000 excited fans into the Facebook page, even bringing in personal comments from Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy who expressed his excitement at the potential for the project. Originally titled as Final Fantasy VII The Movie, the project was deemed too big to stuff into a Hollywood-length film. The web series will be available for free on YouTube and split into several seasons of five to six episodes each to make sure that we cover every important detail, every iconic sequence that drew you into Midgar and wouldn't let you go. We're doing this for one reason and one reason only. We love this game. We're not just going to go out and make a series, either. We're going to pull some of the greatest talent from all over the world to help make this project a success. People with professional experience in the industry who also happen to be fans of this amazing game. To prove it to you that we mean business, we're going to take you through our development teams and show you the kind of power we're bringing into this project. First, let's say hello to Jonathan Mediota the creator of the concept trailer and the director of the series. Sono Jonathan Meliot, eh, vengo da Samarate, un piccolo paese vicino a Milano, ma adesso vivo a Londra. Ho studiato montaggio cinematografico per molti anni e non sono estraneo al mondo del cinema e della televisione, ma questo sarà il mio primo ruolo importante come regista. Il mio aiuto però avrò altri due registi, Daniel Purcell e James Mark, due persone che combinate assieme coprono l'intero settore del business cinematografico. Tutto è iniziato circa un anno fa eh, insieme al mio amico Mattia e assieme abbiamo deciso di eh, intraprendere questo enorme progetto. Inizialmente volevamo fare il film, infatti abbiamo fatto il teaser del film e l'abbiamo girato lo scorso anno. Successivamente ho conosciuto Daniel a novembre e dopo avergli spiegato il progetto ha deciso di venire a bordo come direttore musicale. Ehm, dopo alcune riunioni abbiamo deciso che un semplice film non avrebbe funzionato ma sarebbe servita una web series per non sacrificare nulla del gioco. Da novembre oggi abbiamo un team di oltre 250 persone, passando dagli effetti speciali al merchandising, alla musica, e tutti stanno lavorando gratuitamente per rendere questo progetto reale. Tutte queste persone sono esperte nel proprio settore e sono tutti fan di Final Fantasy, quindi tutti sanno che cosa vogliono vedere in questa web series. My name is Dan Purcell and I'm the producer and one of the directors of Final Fantasy VII, the web series. I've seen this project grow since the very start, so I'd like to tell you just a little bit about it today. When Geo first approached me a year ago, the idea was to make a movie. Uh, we all knew after a while that that probably would not work, so we came up with the idea of a web series. Uh, what we're pitching for today is season one of that web series. Um, doing the web series uh, opposed to a movie would obviously uh, allow us to give the game the full justice it deserves without compromising on character development, plot development, even the music, you know, the general flow of things. Um, we started with three people. 
one year later we are now at 250 people uh, we don't mean amateurs either we are a team of absolute professionals our 250 people span from all over the world and from every corner of the motion picture and gaming industry with people from Capcom from EA games from Pixar uh, we have actors and actresses from Hollywood um, we have the teams uh, be that were behind Scott Pilgrim, the Resident Evil movies, Jumper, House MD, Sons of Anarchy, The Internship, um, the list goes on and on. We've done all we can so far. We have our team. We have the skill. We most certainly have the passion. We have the technology. We have the studio. We just need that little bit more help. And it all boils down to money, unfortunately. We have everything. In fact, we even have the music rights. We really need your help. We want to make this uh, possible. We want to satisfy every single person who sees this. We don't want to disappoint every, you know, anybody. Um, and we know that we can do this. So I'd like you to introduce to our team, introduce you to our team today, and uh, hopefully you will all be as excited as we are. So, thank you. We've already made some great relationships in the formation of this project, but one of the most exciting is our partnership with 2X Entertainment, the public face of which is known as Team 2X. You might know them from some of their YouTube sensations, like Jedi Ninjas and Ultimate Fan Fights, which have literally garnered millions of views. Team 2X brings a phenomenal amount of production power to the series, including martial arts, free running, wire work, and acrobatics. Their studio has made appearances in Scott Pilgrim, The Mummy 3, and Jumper, and their integration with the Final Fantasy VII web series is going to take the phrase fan production to a new level of awesome, especially with the co-founder James Mark directing at least one episode. I am Pratik Mathur, I'm from India, and now I'm living in England. Here in Final Fantasy VII the web series, I'll be working as a creative director. I'll be looking after all the visual effects, all the animation, and I'll be working with wonderful artists from around the globe to produce something really amazing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Zija. You might recognize me as your narrator, but I'm also the musical director for this project, along with Dan Purcell. He's a little busy right now doing his whole project management thing, but I'm just going to share with you a little bit about the music team and what our vision is for this project. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I think that music is a more integral part of the Final Fantasy series than most, if not all, other games. Our team is absolutely standing on the shoulders of giants for this one. Namely, one giant named Nobuo Yamatsu, of course. And we're going to be working hard to do justice to the music. My vision for the project has a couple of different angles we'll be working on. First, of course, is the score of the actual series. We're going to be re-envisioning the original soundtrack and adapting it to a movie in a couple of creative ways, weaving originality and nostalgia to really capture the mood and flow of the story. It's going to be an intensely personal experience for both the composers and the fans. Second is simply albums of independent music, either arrangements of Final Fantasy VII tunes or originals that were inspired by the game, similar to an Overclock Remix sort of album, if you're familiar with that, but it's unique to our project. At least one of these full albums is going to be available to backers at a certain level, and I promise you, it'll be well worth the donation. Music is just one of the many things that made Final Fantasy VII memorable. Another, of course, is the artwork. We're going to head over to the art department to let those guys tell you a little bit about how they're going to, and have already started to, make your eyes pop right out of your head. Hi there, I'm Ryan Jackson, I'm from the United Kingdom, and I'm artwork director and project supervisor for Final Fantasy VII, the web series. Here at the art department, we have one thing and one thing alone in our minds. Memories. The memories that were founded years ago when you played the game. That are founded day to day the world over by people rediscovering this incredible classic. These memories live on inside all of us, and inspire us every day to create wonderful new images based on those games. The first time you ever rode a gold chocobo. The first time you ever beat Ultimate Weapon and the first time you ever raised the Apocalypse Sword after having fought hard and long through the ancient forest to get it. These memories make Final Fantasy VII what it is today. Incredible. Simply amazing. A sublime work that all of us cherish. So, to ensure that we give it the highest honor that we can afford it, 
we've recruited the greatest artists we could find from around the world. Not just any old sketch artist, but people who really enjoy and who love their work, and who also enjoy and love the works of Square Enix. These artists have come together to create images that are now on sale in our Redbubble store, and every purchase you make helps us. Our team of artists are working tirelessly, night and day, and consists of such incredible luminaries as James State, the UK Bristol based illustrator, Jimmy Lombardo from the US, and of course, noted storyboard artist Jean Claude Delaronde. Jean Claude's previous experience as a storyboard artist for Electronic Arts and Ubisoft is what first attracted us to his incredible talent, but I'm sure you'll agree, his contributions to the project so far have been absolutely incredible, and we look forward to more of his work in the future. Now that you've seen what we have to offer, we hope you're as excited as we are about this project. This isn't going to just be a fan movie. It's a full-powered, professional production designed to pay tribute to one of the greatest video games of all time. We have talent from all over the world, from artists that have worked on Harry Potter to actors that have seen the silver screen from the other side to musicians with over 20 years' experience. But we need one more thing to make this happen, and that's you. The Kickstarter program is the only way we're going to have the budget we need to pay homage to Final Fantasy VII in a way that does the series justice. We simply can't do it without the fans' contributions. We've set up a vast array of awards for our backers, and at the end of it all, you'll be able to see the magic of Final Fantasy come to life in a way that to date has only been imagined. So please, help us spread the word, donate what you can, and help be the force behind Final Fantasy VII, the web series. Welcome to Midgar.